Belle Delphine is an internet celebrity that has basically played the entire internet into devoting themselves to her because of her cute, not safe for work content. And when I say the internet, I mean incels. She's played incels. Please spit directly down my throat. I am practically begging you, Belle. Please, I will even pay you. I just want your spit on. In me, please. Now a lot of people are giving hate to Belle and for the longest time I did think it was pretty petty. I thought they were probably hating on her because they were jealous because she was successful or because they had a problem with her capitalising off her own body and there's still a lot of stigma about that apparently. However recently Belle has come under a lot of fire as she apparently did a tweet where she was accused of fetishizing rape and kidnapping. You know, two perfectly normal everyday things that any person would want to experience once in their lifetime. Now after this happened, I decided to take a deeper look into Belle. Not literally. Um, I didn't get to watch the Xmas video. The student loan hadn't quite hit by then and her Patreon would have maxed out my overdraft. And I found that people weren't only having a problem with her because of this, but because of her whole brand. And I find some pretty concerning and distressing arguments. And so because of the topics that I've already mentioned in this video, this video will actually cover topics that some people might find distressing. Now let's start with the recent scandal. I'm gonna have to probably blur these images because I don't want to lose my channel, but um, the photos basically show Belle tied up in a car with duct tape over her mouth and then having some special fun time with a man in a balaclava. Right, I knew that she liked me on knee, but I didn't think I'd catch her shagging George Mimulus on the timeline. Now, quite a few comments were made about this post, and not a lot of them were happy. I mean, I wouldn't really be happy seeing that, to be honest. Look how muddy that picture is. It's disgusting. You'd think with the budget that they have, they could put a towel down or something first. I don't know, maybe George Mimulus has something for mud. I know not everyone knows this, but the fact that this month alone is Human Trafficking Awareness Month, and she's promoting this disgusting sh with her huge platform to her pedo followers is absolutely concerning and dangerous. It's one thing to have your kinks and to be into BDSM, but this is romanticising kidnapping and rape. And as someone who is profiting off of looking like a child, you're promoting this behaviour to a really dangerous demographic. The issue isn't having this kink, it's the fact that a lot of males here will see this and think this is normal. They don't know about the safe words, long discussions and therapy that take place before engaging in a scene like this. They just see rape. A lot of other people did come out and comment that it's okay to have and explore fantasies like these whilst they are consensual, as they are consensual, so they are not actually kidnapping or assault. In fact, this point was brought up in Belle's apology, which she titled as, I'm not sorry, here's why. Because that, that is how to be sympathetic when people complain about stuff that has obviously triggered them. There is nothing wrong with enjoying power play and BDSM where both people are consensual. I made it very clear in the caption on my photo and anything written about it that I was enjoying it and that it was consensual. I never said the word rape or anything against my will. This is what other people have put into it. Belle does have a point. It's not actually these things because she is consenting and therefore she's not promoting them. At least not intentionally. Now people have their kinks and fetishes and I'm sorry but I have to agree that liking consensual non-consent isn't the same as glorifying non-consent and that's because what you're doing is consensual. I mean that just seems pretty logical for me however the lack of warning and the fact that there are kids on this site does make it a bit more problematic and this is a point that other people have been talking about. As Belle says in her apology, she is a OnlyFans creator so you should kind of expect this kind of content. So the idea of putting it behind a paywall is a little bit mm, considering that is what the Twitter account is and has always been. In fact, a study from October 2020 showed that only 9.1% of Twitter users are under the age of 18. And from that, you can make the argument that the majority of the people seeing this post should be and would be over the age of 18. Secondly, Belle is an OnlyFans content creator and of course her Twitter is going to be not safe for work. However, she does have 1.5 million followers and it would be a bit dense to think that they were all adults. Now I'm all for trigger warnings, especially when it comes to things like abuse and assault. However, doesn't trigger warning it imply that that is what she's showing? When her whole argument is that she is not snapshotting to put on her Twitter feed, but consensual non-consent, putting a trigger warning would derail that argument. Although 
I do agree that trigger warnings for people that have experienced those things would be beneficial. Putting a trigger warning on this photo would probably cause more people to problematize it. However, I do sympathize with the backlash. At the end of the day, I sympathize with the effect that this could have had on victims of this kind of thing. Seeing stuff like this fetishized in this manner for the people that have experienced it is gonna be triggering for people. I think it's completely valid for people to be upset by this and complain about it. And I don't think it's easily disputable with the argument of, but it's consensual. People cannot help that they have triggers, especially as a result of trauma. Another argument that Belle makes is that she does hardcore, so you should expect that content on her Twitter. However, when you actually scroll down her Twitter, you don't really find anything similar to this, other than perhaps a barbed wire shot in October and a video of her getting shot by a taser gun in August. What I'm trying to say is, yes, maybe you should expect it, but it's not as if her timeline is full of it. The argument that you can make is that you expect to see hardcore stuff from Belle. However, nobody expects to see someone sexualized, being tied up, kidnapped, and you know, randomly on the timeline. It's gonna be a shock. And sometimes it's not even appearing on people's timeline that follow her, but people that would have just retweeted it. So although I do understand where Bella's coming from, her statement that she put out could have been a bit more sympathetic, considering this was put on a public platform that anybody could see. Another thing that I read out was regarding the fact that other people would not actually know the important conversations that happen for these kind of fetishes to happen safely and for it not to cross a line. Although it shouldn't be her responsibility to educate people on consent and the difference between BDSM and actual disgusting, forceful actions, consent is still something that isn't taught very well. So to expect everybody to see this image and think that that is two consenting adults and see that it is a consensual, non-consent fetish rather than a rape fetish and glorification of kidnapping is quite naive on Belle's part. Because of the still terrible sex education, a lot of people don't really know about this stuff or know about consent, and that is why some people have a problem with the lack of context behind Belle's tweet. Is that her fault? Is it her fault that people don't understand consent? No. However, she should be aware of that, and at least should be now that it has been raised, instead of completely discounting the concerns of many, many people. Now, all of that was applied to the first post, but then I checked Twitter and she's done it again, but this time she's mocking trigger warnings. First the I'm not sorry, sorry apology, and now this, it's not helping. I get as a content creator, people must say it all the time, but dude, there is literally no need to mock people who are victims of assault complaining about not seeing a trigger warning. Once you mock that, you are showing your lack of concern of how things may affect people. You can ridicule people for their responses, but mocking something that a lot of people rely on so that they don't encounter triggers, which are usually a result of very dark trauma, shows that you are not only insensitive to the people that have raised concerns about your post, but also to the people who have actual serious triggers. Now, another part of Belle's apology actually addressed the fact that people were accusing her of dressing like a child. Another thing that people have said is that I'm trying to dress like a child, which to me is insane. Now, I've seen that a lot, not just when this happened. I've seen it on the timeline a lot. I've seen it in videos a lot. I mean, a lot of people are saying that she's pedo baiting. This means that her content directly panders to pedophiles. People argue that because she dresses and acts like a child whilst posting lewd or not safe for work content, that she's sexualizing children or she is sexualizing child clothing and child items. Now, is it problematic to post pictures that are sexualized where you wear clothing that is childlike and use items that are child associated? Yes, it's problematic. It's a bit weird. To be honest, it's a bit weird to look at an all-in-one suit that you'd see a child wearing and think that it is sexy. In her statement, she makes the point that a lot of people dress like sexy schoolgirls, which, um, that's weird too. I've always found that trend strange. Surely, that means that you are sexualizing school uniforms that minors wear, and sexualizing the outfits that schoolgirls wear, therefore, kind of sexualizing schoolgirls and the outfits that are associated with them. Which is a bit weird, considering schoolgirls are sexualized from a young age as well, it's not a very good thing to be promoting. A particular example that I'm gonna bring up from the past is that she actually did cosplay as a minor. She dressed up as Hermione, and considering Trisha Paytas got a lot of sh for this on her TikTok when she did it, so should Belle, considering the things that she said whilst dressed as this minor. Now to bring out my, um, hardcore 
Harry Potter knowledge, considering Hermione only turns 18 in Deathly Hallows Part 1, and the actor for Hermione was only of age in The Half-Blood Prince, dressing in a character that was only in that uniform when they were under 18 is extremely problematic when you're sexualizing it. Are your wands getting hard? That'll be a question that they hear coming from the prison showers. The biggest offense for this is, of course, Belle is 18. However, I think we can all agree that this is problematic at the very least because yeah, she can dress how she likes, but when you're dressing as a child in a sexualized way, bit weird. And to be honest, when you look at some of the other controversies that Belle have been involved in, it seems like this wasn't just happening when she was over the age of 18. Yeah. Now, Ropzilla made a video on this covering the entire controversy of her past, and a lot of the sources that I have from this video are from his video, so if you want to know more or know the original takes, I suggest checking his out, and I will put it in the description. Apparently, when Belle was under the age of 18, she took part in a lot of cosplay, and she was approached by a man who was using other people's photos as her own in order to make money. This man basically convinced Belle to use other people's nude pictures so she could sell them and make money for herself and him. Belle obviously couldn't use her own images because she was under 18 at the time. This is where she actually is verifying that she's underage saying uh followers you have to be 18 he says you're 18 soon so it will let us then verifying that she was indeed underage seeing as the date of this was 10 15 17 and we knew that she was 17 about to be 18 we know that all the stuff that she was doing previous with the lewd photos she was 100 percent underage probably around the age of 15 and 16 years old which is highly disturbing from the first messages it does seem that she is very hesitant about it at first but she does eventually agree and that's problematic as it is actually a violation of copyright and so yeah illegal especially if you are selling other people's photos for money other people's nude photos for money that is what Belle did and when she was called out for it in this instance she ended up sending videos of herself when she was 17 and from these messages you can kind of assume that these videos were very inappropriate this technically means that she was producing and sharing child porn and that's illegal and it could get herself and the people she sold it to in a lot a lot of trouble now there are a few things that i'd like to say about this from this video i watched and what i could find i couldn't see anywhere the bow had expressed her age at this point i've always said on this channel that it is your responsibility as an adult to ask how old the person is that you are conversating with in this manner however if you are advertising and selling lewd and not safe for work content people are going to assume that you're over 18. so although i do think there is responsibility that the customer that makes me feel sick must take here bell also should not have done this and definitely should have made her age clear if she did not already considering the work that she was doing secondly i do want to say that this whole thing was caused by a man approaching her with this idea and he did seem to lead the situation and convinced her into doing this now bell did choose to go along with this and she definitely should take some accountability however she was a child and also not fully matured you don't fully mature until you're 25 so it's very likely that this man actually did take advantage of Belle's naivety here for his own selfish gains which i condemn hugely this is something that has not been addressed so far by Belle, as i'm aware and from Ropsella's video it seems like she definitely did what she could to avoid taking accountability for this issue that in itself is very problematic she could have come forward and apologized possibly explaining how she was convinced to do it and a lot more people that are aware of the situation probably would have taken that and not been so harsh on her however as far as i'm aware of she hasn't and has continued to prosper online whilst dressed in problematic ways and making problematic posts all in all seeing such a positive response to a creator like Belle, who produces not safe for work content online has been encouraging with youtubers fully embracing her character and her methods which essentially destigmatizes the attitude around this kind of work however it's really hard to fully support her when some of her methods are problematic when some of the things that she's done are problematic and apparently illegal and when she has shown such insensitivity to people online now, i have no problem with not safe for work content i think it's brilliant if that's what you want to do however that does not mean that when these people mess up that they can't be criticised and they can't be held accountable. Chase your bag, honey. Just uh, 
try not to be problematic whilst you're doing it. But that's just my opinion. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Follow my socials, they'll be linked in the description. And with that, I'll see you soon.